everybody. Today, I'm going to be pretty quick on this one. It's going to be a short, quick video. But I kind of wanted to talk about Ridiculous Coding, the Godot add-on. I use it every time I'm streaming. I use it when I'm not streaming. And I actually enjoy it. Uh, there's also a variant from Cupix. Uh, but I kind of wanted to take a few moments and talk about this cool add-on. To install the add-on, it's actually really easy. We're going to go to the asset lib. And then we're going to go type in ridiculous. I think you can just get away with just typing rid. Uh, yeah, let's go a little more. Just so it's limited. You'll notice that there's actually two versions. There's the ridiculous coding, which is the original one from this Cupix. It is a variant, which I'll cover this here in a second. But let's go over the original OG add-on first. And then we'll talk about that. Just like any other add-on, you click on this guy. You say, yo, I want to download and let it download and then you install it goes in the add-ons folder it has the root ignored automatically great job no custom downloads today uh, from any github pages then let's go to project project settings back over to your plugins and you can tell that this is this version from john watson it's the godot 4 version there is a version 3, a Godot 3 variant as well, if you're still using Godot 3 and want to use this cool add on, this cool add on, click enable, you'll see this little dock show up in the corner, hit close. And this is kind of just setting up your your experience, you could do things like explosions, blip sounds, shake, kind of tying it for your needs. Uh, and then let's go ahead and create a script and see if it's working. Look at that. I can already see it making those noises. I want a bar. And you'll notice over here as I type stuff, this levels up gets you there. And once you hit max level, the next level anyway, you get these little cool fireworks. And you can turn things off. You can have the sounds being what you want it to be. Is pretty cool. Uh, there's different kinds of things. You've got these explosions. It's so like when you delete stuff. Let's like come over here and I'll have backspace. Pretty neat. And that's really all you need to get started. I will give a note that sometimes you'll install the plugin and you'll open up your script and it won't work. Uh, I found that after you've installed it, you have to close Godot and then like reopen it. Okay. So taking a look at his version, this is a fork. So on his, the biggest difference here is like in the original one, you get a new level per project, whereas his is over multiple sessions. Uh, the character keys, animate with boom. He fixed some errors. He, he did a lot of porting. The his his project actually works more often for me on installing it on first try. He updated some formatting, which is no bit, you know, whatever you need it to be. The characters when you delete stuff are red, yellow instead of rainbow color. You know, there's just there's some nice things. He changed some sound. The one thing I do like when we were playing with the dialogic was it had this like keyboard, not keyboard. It had this typing effect sound when the dialogue appears. And I kind of like that feeling. It's like you're using a typewriter. It's pretty cool. If we come over back to the game here, go to the scripts. If you listen to this, we'll go. And if you click settings, obviously his on mine, you need to some of this stuff needs to be improved from like a window perspective. Change the little fireworks. Stuff like that. And you can reset it. This might make you feel good about typing and working on your game. Uh, I like to use it personally while I'm streaming. It's a little, it has a little bit of intrigue and interest to those viewing uh, the stream where you're writing code, which might not be the most exciting things to watch but you know seeing and hearing cool noise and seeing these like effects makes you feel like you're up in a game so it's like gaming gamifying your coding experience which i appreciate and i actually kind of like this one more only because it's just less in your face and again if you were looking for this this is the ridiculous coding add-on whether you go for the original one from john watson 
and Cupix. Also, the authors of this ridiculous coding, there's also another guy called Jitspo, which is where I originally saw the extension. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'm gonna highlight Jitspo here, who helped build that add-in, or at least extend it. I'm not quite sure if he was part of the actual authorship, since John Watson is the primary owner. But I first saw it on his stream. Uh, he's building this game, Cook. Uh, if you're interested, he's on Twitch. He has got a YouTube video. He's an interesting guy and makes cool content. And I like shouting out creators in the game dev space. I wanted to make this one short and simple. And as always, stay awesome.